Hi guys, Arctic here. So for this video, I'll be covering the new reward system uh, that they implement into the game and then I'll break down how is it going to work and how is it going to benefit for most of the player. So at the top, uh, sorry, at the bottom right section here, you will see this combat trophy reward is currently a bit buggy with the UI, UI uh, design, but let's take a look here. So if you press on it, you will see this um, format here. So the basic trophy reward is determined by the higher ranking between your two days point more and your beat bout. So previously this reward here, this reward amount here is all purely for beat bout only, right? But now they give you an opportunity, they give you a choice to, to pick which, which kind of content you want to go for. It's either you want to go for point war or either you want to go for beat bout. So this one is still accumulate uh, it's still counting through your server ranking so let's say in point war right and they will only count when you can see here mine i'm i'm top one two six here in ptr server um but it's still counting it my place here is one two three why is it like this is because you have to at least do one time of battle within that week so let's say monday you have to do it at least one time to refresh your 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 ranking and then you are able to get listed here and then your beat bout is the usual beat bout ranking as usual so how they how it benefits you is so let's say you're you're not good at rival rune system you are not good at auto function so you are better at using your equipment and you prefer to play um, point war in your manual way so let's say you want to play chloe cliff, cliff team you want to play speed team with tolan that you can manually by yourself then beat bug will have a higher advantage for you right because you can manually by yourself so you can you go through your point war get a higher rank than your beat bug then you can still get the same daily reward as your beat bug but you only can get one time so if your beatbox is higher, so for my situation now, my beatbox is level uh, is ranked 85, is higher than my point war. So I they will be calculating your beatbox um, daily um, rank to give you the reward. So does that matter if you don't really focus on point war? It doesn't, but it still um, maintain your weekly reward. So at your tier here, your point war weekly reward still remains. Everything remains the same, but they add on another additional uh, option for you to pick if you want to focus on beat bout or you want to focus on point war depends on which one is better so same thing they're going to apply for knockout so we all know that the knockout is giving the most juicy reward in the game which is the shimmer record fragment It's one of the main income for most of the free to play player or the long term player this is where your main income for getting the shimmer record so for those top player or paid player they they most likely take, they are going to be very consistent or top 64 and some free to play can hit here but it is your main income for getting the shimmer record fragment but it's only locked behind pvp content right so for those pve player that really like to do um speed clear chronos um high damage is desolate land they don't really get benefits through this uh, thing but they added a new thing so if we click on here the basic trophy reward underneath here that's called incentive trophy reward so now incentive trophy reward you can see my knockout is 34.7 because i don't play the ptr server knockout at all i just put a dispatch you can see the point here is ridiculously low so i only get a very low reward but with the miracle challenge so let's say you are more focused on a pve player so your miracle challenge rank is higher so you are still able to get the top one to top 10 reward based on knockout so the top 10 to top 64 now from the knockout reward here is not only for 64 player now because this is originally only for knockout now we'll also include for the pve player as well so basically there will be 124 um, player able to get the rewards or maybe it's lesser because maybe the, the knockout player also play in the pve okay so how do you uh attempt this miracle challenge thing so there's a score system for it so you have to focus chronos apat fafnir and draft which is the four miracle uh four ritual bosses and then the desolate land bosses so it based on your world ranking formation um, reward so let's say chronos here you can see i'm getting 500 point here and then I'm top 8 but this top 8 is depends on what kind of leaderboard so if you look at my ritual uh, miracle aptr server my chronos here is top 3 but why am I ranking top 8 there because the leaderboard is not counting on your own division because it's, if it's counting on your own division it's too easy to a lot for a lot of player to it's too easy to actually get high point so they are counting from world formation so world formation is a bit more challenging because you need to get uh, high 
um, high floor with low turn with the Asper formation that is different. So it's, you can be more creative and more different way to achieve at this world ranking leaderboard here. So as long as you don't have the same team with the other player here. So for example, this PTR server here, I'm, I'm doing 16 and then my average thing is 14.4. And then you can see here below this guy is 16 but i'm lower uh lower average turn and then no one that is higher than me is using the same thing so i'm ranking at seven so as usual we can still get the club trophy reward we are still able to get the frame and additionally you are able to get the point as well so if we come to the combat trophy rewards incentive trophy miracle challenge and then you go to the information tab here you scroll down you will see what is the the point you are able to get so for example just now mine is top eight right so top eight is here between top four to top ten so i'm getting 500 points for my chronos leaderboard here so how you how uh then it depends on uh, you if you're one percent then you get 300 top three percent then you got 230. so it really it depends on all your bosses so this one is 500 so here is 500 and then you have to add the APAP, I didn't do the APAP one, and then the Andras, and then your shadow bosses, or then you total up all your all your point here, and then you look at the leaderboard here, who will be, then what kind of rank you are getting ranked now. So for example, I, with all my point getting gathered together, which is 1000 point, I'm getting ranked in 12 in the PVE leaderboard. So this is the PVE leaderboard, it depends on how many... Um, point you get through the ritual bosses and then the desolate land bosses as well then because i'm ranked 12 so i'm able to get this amount of reward which is better than my current knockout because in my ptr server i don't do the knockout at all but if you are a more focused player for knockout then you can don't care about the miracle challenge leaderboard because you are still able to get the knockout leaderboard reward you only get one so they are, they are instead of just um locking the the shimmer record fragment content uh behind the knockout they give you another opportunity which is miracle challenge so if you are a player who enjoy speed running chronos which i i think there's quite a amount of player who likes to um cook your own um ritual speed run team and then uh, your desert land higher port um higher score gain team then you have the advantage of getting the shimmer record as well so there will be pvp content and PVE content for Shimmer Record. And then point one here is equipment content manual and beat bulk is rivalry content auto. So it's a good thing to this direction because they give you opportunity instead of just locking the reward within one content. You get the, the, the chance to pick what kind of content you want to focus on. Okay, so feel free to comment out how do you guys think about this reward thing. I feel like this is the best quality of life to be honest. It benefits both PvE and also PvP player and equipment player and reverend player. So it's a bad, more a balanced thing to do so you can focus on a more specific direction. Then not just that, in the shop content here, your club shop here, they actually changes as well. They added a new legendary blue stone uh, thing to buy. They added uh, Everett Divinity here. So you can buy 15 per week and then so basically one month you are able to buy one Everett Divinity for free. Okay, so you, do, you don't have to summon through the uh, Divinity pool and you don't have to get it from Go Record pool as well. And then the Random Wish sticker here is also good because um, it, it will help your club mate to get their sticker supplied a lot more easier if you have the currency for it which is pretty cheap to be honest. And then every time you donate one sticker, you buy 100 right and then you uh one sticker is 100 and then if you donate to someone else and then it will consume and you give, give you 20 back so it's a good thing to help your club mate to to get their um ripple easier okay so it's something like that overall the changes i i really like this uh combat trophy reward because i think that it really balanced out um the player rewards so it's no longer just focused on pvp content it's more um between pve and pvp okay so hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys in the next video bye bye special thanks for the direct support on the youtube membership so for the benefactor of art here which is gen mp rosas 15 mocode regili the bluest chalane pigeon roulette kemi thank you so much for the support and for the supporter and patron of art here which is louis shenader acne kut wilderness wang tamer ziggy kamaruki sun watts rimu chani Von Hexa, Rawson Bessie, Antonio Winterspoon, Marilyn Williams, thank you so much for the support. And that's not all, also special thanks for the direct support on the live stream super chat, the latest clan. So special thanks to Pigeons Roulette, Acne, 
Ziggy, Cold Wilderness, Chani, and Rosas15. Thank you so much for the support and hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!